So let's get right to the core. Let's go right to the core. Let's speak. Let's speak truth. You are not the mind. You are not the mind. You are neither ego mind, nor are you pure mind, nor are you store mind, whatever mind you think you are, you are not. You are nothing without the mind. So, it's nothing. You are, but you are. It's invisible, yeah? It must be. Nothing has never been seen. But you don't want to be nothing. You'd rather be the mind. The mind's a bit more exciting. Well, let me tell you this. Nothing is invisible. And mind is nothing appearing as another invisible force, a mirage that appears to be here in form. You say, when you say you're not the mind, you think, well, it's this energy that comes from the brain that moves within me I know I'm not that but mind is appearing as everything your body is appearing as mind as a thought from the mind everything that you perceive is mind is a conclusion or a creation from the mind it's mind being this invisible entity and then suddenly appearing as something so mind is also invisible but what is there to prefer mind rather than nothing you've never tasted nothing but you're tasting it every moment of the day so is it form that you are taken by? Or is it space that you are taken by? Do you think you're a form in the space? Is that what it is? But you ignore the space, which is a form of nothing. But you cannot be here without this space. Because if we were just form, we would be a mass rock with no space. Everything would be like a big infinite lump of cheese. So you prefer form. But you'll accept space because it's important. For you to move about but you are more important than the space the form is more important than the space they're equal they have to be equal so you are not the mind that you think you are you are the form of the mind but you are not that either so you are not form, nor are you formlessness. And so what is this? Consciousness has never been seen or understood. It is only a word to describe what we truly are. It is not visible and it is not invisible consciousness is this almighty magical dust that eludes everything but it is here as everything 
and it is here as nothing. So to believe that you are form, or to believe that you are formless, invisible, is to be, is a form of foolishness. You're deluded. To believe in any form, anything, watch these words, to believe in anything and to believe in no thing is completely delusion. It's complete nonsense. And to see nonsense Nonsense will reveal sense. And this sense is that to realize that you are neither form nor are you formlessness, that you are consciousness which is indescribable, unknowable, unimaginable, omnipotent, omnipresent, can never be seen, but can be seen, can never be touched, but can be touched. Every contradiction is consciousness, and con contradiction is not logic. But to know that contradiction is not logic is logic. And to know this is a revealing from the one, from the one whole consciousness, from the pure consciousness, from this whole thing, the revealing that you have understood that you are unknowable that nothing can be described, understood, is freedom, is completion. This is complete foolishness. This is complete nonsense, reflecting as complete nonsense. But also the sense of knowing that your complete nonsense is the most logical thing you can know. The knowing. And to know that you are complete in knowing and unknowing is to finalize and say, I'm finished with it. I am free from the bondage of logic and illogic. I am not any form. I am not formlessness. I am consciousness. And consciousness is all that exists. So therefore, we come forward again. So therefore, I am existence. I am life. I am body. I am breath. I am here. I am experiencing. I am doing. I am finding. I am using my mind. And it goes on. But not in this dimension. Consciousness is a multi-story car park. Multi, 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 infinite stories of planets, of lives, of aliens, of all the magical mystery things that the mind can make up. Every single possibility that your imagination and billion times it is feasible. 
in consciousness. Everything is possible in consciousness that you are. So you are immutable possibilities. And to try and understand this is completely, completely foolishness. But to know it is complete master genius. And once you're finished with it, you have the choice. A consciousness in its whole that you are has the choice. Whether you move on and come back to this mind-based form, formlessness, wonderful, majestic world, if it's taken and free, as free, as liberating, as here, as an imagination, as a dream, as a moment, as time, as timelessness. If it's taken as free it is, come back. You may come back. Otherwise, you can move on. Where do you move on? <laughs> Why do you want a logical answer? There is no structure, no organization, no meaning, no ideal concept. There is just random, random movement. And when you allow the movement to take you, you're on the best roller coaster in the world. And it's also a dream. But when you are clinging and attaching to logic and mind and understanding and finding and realizing and hoping and believing and wanting and needing, you're on the back of the roller coaster. Back courage. Hiding at the back. Oh, I don't know. I want to know, but I know. No, we don't. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Nonsense. All these words are nonsense. What a revelation to know that you'll never understand, never know this God. There is no logic to you, your body. There is no logic to you, the one who dwells within this body and out with this body. There is no logic to you. You are pure logic, appearing, shining as many logic beams randomly. And we, the mind, try to make sense and put it in some sort of order. To shine randomly is bliss, is freedom. You are shining. Knowledge oozes from every pore of you, not your body, the pure you. You are the creator of this imaginary world, your imaginary body. You are the creator of mind words, languages, mountains, seas, skies, universes, galaxies. But you are not talking to you, the person, the mind. You, I'm talking to pure consciousness, purest, most beautiful, infinite, loving thing that you are. It's possible for you to see. But you must deny everything. You must deny everything. Even the angel that stands before you. I am not this. Even the most beautiful beautiful 
sunset. I am not this. And the most excruciating pain, which is very easy to try and deny. But don't push anything away except the angels, except the sunset, except the pain. But no, there is nothing to understand about any of it. There is no logic to any of it. And I am not this understanding. I am the understanding. I am not the understanding. And I am the understanding. The understanding is shining. The knowing is shining. But it is not appearing as if it is a logical understanding. A logical knowing. It is appearing. Appearing. Random pieces of knowledge. Random pieces of understanding. And to the mind, none of this is understandable. To the mind, none of this is knowable. These words may free you from the bondage of living in this body as a poor, poor human, poor, poor person. Trapped with wealth and money, trapped with poverty, trapped with knowledge that you may get out or you may get in. If you're in, you're in. If you're out, you're out. Fact. Have a great day. Namaste.